is your placement as far as your department is concerned. That's number one for 2020. And the second one, if you could mention something about the alumni, you know, the alumni, where they are now and what are they doing, it'll be of great help for us. I think if you take the placement part first. Tell me which are the companies which has come to you in 2019 or 20. Few of the companies connected to ECE and uh, most ESE. of most of the MNC. Most of the MNC, MNC. all 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 company. You take Cisco for the networking, Arista. Uh, you you have Samsung, you have Ericsson. Fantastic. All major company they come. And what would be the package, uh, highest package that uh, uh, your students could? Uh, On an average. On an average. Okay. Seven to nine. Highest we have 18, 19 Oh, wonderful. 18, 90 lakhs yes. per annum. Okay. Yes, yes, we have. And an Probably. average is about 7 lakhs or so. Yes. That's wonderful. Yes, yes. And uh, if a student now doesn't want placement and uh, he wishes to go in for higher education, what would be your suggestion? What are the streams available for their post-graduation? And uh, of course, you have your own uh, post-graduation that somebody wants to go abroad to do their MS. And, uh, what would be your suggestion? Definitely. In our department, if you if you take together the, the student who want to go for higher study and the placement, it is close to around 92-93%. Okay. In this, I see we see that around uh, 10 to 20 percent they would like to go for higher study. My personal suggestion is I I, I give a lot of recommendation. People ask. People counsel, you counsel your students? Uh, yes, or? yes, yes. I, I counsel because they come for recommendation, not uh, at the level of HOD, but as a teacher or what, whatever. So when they come, I do counsel them. But my suggestion is after graduating, you should work. If you work in industry or wherever, you will understand actually where is the problem and what is the problem and what education I have taken is it worth or sufficient? After that working of two years of experience, you might go for higher, higher education. And what would be the higher studies? What are the, what your, your uh, what, what type of uh, PGs that they can do after they complete ECE or electronic? Exactly. So ECE graduate can go to even CSE based computer computer science. They go for robotics. They go for AI. The intelligent to, to today artificial intelligence. So they, they go for any, you take it all together, US. US normally they have electrical engineering or computer science, MS in computer or MS in electrical. And when they go, you have the specialized subject to choose in, the, in, the, in your higher, higher uh, second year. And therefore, most of them, they go. My suggestion is, uh, of course, most of them, they come for US, but I push them, try to push them that try for Europe. Europe is well worth lab you have, but I have seen. In US, sometimes if you have money, you will get admission. That is true. But in Europe, it is not like that. It is based upon your merit, based upon your experience, based upon some practical work. If you have publication, if you are really, your recommendation is good, all this sum ups to get admission in European university. Uh, but US, yes, little bit of. But many students, they go US, Europe, Australia. What is the future of communication uh, in terms of uh, how does this industry, the communication industry, you, what do you see in the next 10 years? What's going to happen? It's going to enlarge and give more opportunities for those uh, uh, students who are joining us in the year 2021 and they pass out in 2025. Uh, what do you say about this industry? It's going to be a blast or it's going to be a collapse. Over to you, sir. Actually, a uh, couple of weeks ago, I was asked to give a same webinar for one hour on the same topic. Oh, wonderful. Okay, so, <laughs> so I, think it, I, I think it's fresh in your mind as to what reply you should give to me for that particular question, right? So, yes, so you see, I think today and in future, without communication, nothing is going to happen. You take any field, you have to know about networking, you have to know about communication protocol, you have to understand how communication system works. 
and that is basic. You take any mechanical department, you take electrical power distribution. Uh, today IoT, right? IoT is on peak. What is IoT? It is a hard way. Until you communicate something to someone, nothing is going to happen. And IoT is everywhere. And what is the scope? If you see, see the business prospect of IoT, it comes to be, uh, I mean, it is going to observe million of people if they want to. I give you one example. Let's say a smart city. And I, I can say that ambitious project of prime minister, right? 500 smart city in India. How many people can be employed? Right now, we do not develop, we do not design one simple sensor. 